Hello, I'm Martin Glynn, a former CEO of HSBC Bank in Canada and the U.S. And uh, I've been proud to be associated with the University of Calgary and Haskane School. Well, I think uh, in the end, it's all about communication. Uh, people have said management is motivation. So it's a question of being able to lead a group, communicate well, have a vision, have a simple message, live the brand if you're in the consumer area. Uh, in a banking environment, you end up uh, having lots of banks on street corners and people have to drive by your competitors to come to you and what makes them skip five or six different uh, banks or branches to come to you. It's some form of relationship, forming, uh, communication, trust, and those are the attributes I think make uh, great leaders. I think they're, they tend to be generalists. They're not the smartest people in the room. Uh, they are, uh, they're not the people that uh, take the longest to make decisions. They're balanced, uh, they're personable, they're trustworthy. Uh, you can respect them and they respect you. They are visible, they walk the job. So those are the kind of attributes that I think uh, make for a great leader. Well, in the HSBC world, we, we're a very international organization. So people who have lived in a number of countries, who have uh, understood uh, different cultures, uh, ethnic groups, uh, those, those are the kind of people that uh, I respected and uh, saw as natural leaders, that uh, they had the perspective that was global, uh, they saw the big picture, they saw trends developing over many years and could anticipate them. And they weren't narrow, they weren't too local or parochial, and uh, they could break out of their shell from wherever they came. And those are the kind of leaders that inspired us at HSBC. We had uh, several chairmen of uh, HSBC, and one in particular, you know, I thought was exceptional. We would attend meetings at least quarterly, whether it was in Hong Kong or London, that uh, we simply wanted to be there. We wanted to hear the message. We wanted to be part of the team. And uh, he wasn't the loudest person in the room. He kept it very simple. He was uh, available and personable. And it's, it's that mix of skills that, uh, that make I think a great leader. I think ego is a, can be a big negative, so you have to park your ego at the door. If you get uh, uh, into a position where you've been elevated very quickly and you think somehow you're better than anyone else and you enjoy some of the toys associated with corporate life, whether it's corporate jets or fancy restaurants, uh, and you end up sort of losing that common touch, then those people get off track very quickly. And of course, if they're successful, that's okay, but as soon as they make a mistake, they tend to have no support beneath, and that is a, is a killer for a leader. So you need to be able to have support from your, uh, from your colleagues, whether things are going well or going poorly, and, uh, and that, that's critical. So the, one, the big hotshot people that I've met that have um, fallen by the wayside are those that I think have looked after themselves first. It's an I mentality, not a we mentality. I think the students have to recognize that you can't achieve anything in an organization without everyone pulling together as a team. Whether it's in the most remote area in banking, we had call centers and IT functions and branches. and you only succeed by being able to communicate and get every, everyone focused on, in, the, in the right direction. And that's absolutely critical. So you have to keep working on that uh, constantly and, and that is the key to success. In, in HSBC World in Canada, we had over 7,000 employees and you, no one individual can do it all. And, um, and so having that camaraderie and that focus of everyone working together, that's critical to success. I think the, the, the one single bit of advice I would give in this current era is that Canada is only 2% of the world economy. Calgary is, a, is obviously a major city, but only one of a number in Canada. You have to look out. You have to be mobile. You have to be prepared to travel, to get international experience, to understand how the Chinese, the Indians, the Europeans think. 
and uh, have that world perspective. And the best time to get it was when you're young. Uh, when, once you're established in a career and you're in a job and you have family and commitments and so on, that's more difficult. It's not impossible, but it's more difficult. So the, I, I would say to everyone, get out there, uh, break out, look for jobs for a while outside of the city, outside of the country. If you can learn a language, but certainly uh, understand other cultures. Uh, I benefited having worked in HSBC where it's in 80 countries. Uh, I didn't have the, the uh, ability to learn a new language, but I certainly uh, uh, felt I benefited from uh, the cultural influences and uh, made me a better person.